Welcome to Techno Learning. In this video, I'm going to tell you the interview questions of Baiju's TAP program. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is this TAP program offered by Baiju's. So, if you want to pursue a career at Baiju's as Associate Software Engineer or Software Engineer, then you can join it by TAP program. This program is especially for freshers in which you have to just fill a Google form. Then if your resume is shortlisted, then you will be selected for the test. And if you cracked up the test, then you will be invited for the interviews. This is TAP 2.0. Okay. So, what does this TAP 2.0 mean? TAP Tech Acceleration Program Second verse. The first one finished last year and this is the second one. Actually, I myself worked as software engineer in Baiju and I also joined by this TAP program. Okay, so let me tell you my experience as well as the list of preparation topics for the interview. So, not gonna waste your much time. Let me take you to the preparation topics. Here you go. So, first of all, you should have this 10 points. Okay, so 10 points, you should be familiar with this and I gonna tell you the details of each point. So, first of all, basics of HTML and CSS. So, in which you will be asked some questions related to HTML tags and attributes. Then also there will be some questions from CSS styling like box model and all these things. And the second one is JavaScript library, runtime environments, frameworks such as React.js and Node.js. Okay. So, mainly they will ask questions from JavaScript itself. The functions and the libraries of JavaScript, especially the DOM in React.js and from the Node.js, they will ask just fewer questions like what does database in Node.js called and what we call for the table in Node.js, okay. So, their names, their acronyms, they will ask. Now, the functional programming and oops, basic concepts. So, they will ask you some questions from C language like functional programming and then they will move further for the OOPS basic concepts such as polymorphism, function overloading and overriding. Okay. And then there is one more important thing. They will ask you the real life example of data abstraction and they also give you some like uh, task or something for that in the interview and then you have to relate it with data abstraction and OOPS concept. Okay. Now the no SQL and SQL databases. Of course, they will ask the questions from the database such as joins in SQL and they will ask you questions such as uh, can you tell us the example for no SQL like what are the databases present so you can give them answer like MongoDB etc. And then we have the SQL queries. So, these queries they will ask actually they will begin from basic and can go up to advanced. Like they will give you firstly one table and then will ask you to do a query on that table. Then they will give you multiple table then will ask you to do or fetch data from both the tables. Okay. You have to use union intersection and all these things in the queries. So, most important thing is SQL queries. Then distributed systems, they will ask you like the systems and real time system, all these things, but less questions on that. I think uh, zero or one, that is very basic. And then they will move forward to cloud computing. Also, this cloud computing is an uh, important question. Like, they will ask you, like, how Google Drives works and all these things to store data, what is cloud, and how you see the future of cloud. And then they will ask you the types of architecture for app development, such as MBP, MBC. You can read about these architectures on the internet. There is plenty of information available on the internet. And then the algorithm, time and space complexity and optimization techniques. The important one actually. So, you have to get the knowledge of DSA that is data structures and algorithm and they will ask you the questions related to them. Just like the time complexity of Mars sort 
and the space complexity also the optimization techniques when the data is already shorted and all these things then they will ask you questions from operating system subjects they can ask you the concurrency scheduling algorithms and they will ask you the important question that is the deadlock okay so prepare well for your interview and i wish you all the best for it and thank you for watching this video keep on subscribing techno learning we are just nearby 3000 subscribers so kindly support us